The Procreate app for iPad is not just the killer mobile app for artists, it's generally one of the best painting programs to ever be released. So what is the Procreate app? In this A to Z of Procreate, I'm going to answer that question with 26 mini Procreate tutorials, as well as Procreate tips and tricks that will demonstrate why it's so popular among digital artists. Let's begin. A is for add new brushes. You can add new Procreate brushes to the default collection by opening the brush panel, tapping the plus button, tapping the import button, then browsing for and selecting a compatible brush pack. You can find over 150 of the best Procreate brush packs in the dedicated Procreate section at Envato Elements. B is for blending modes. Procreate has 26 different blending modes you can apply to layers. By default, a layer's blending mode will be set to normal, as indicated by the letter N to the right of the layer name. To change to a different blending mode, tap that letter N, and a list of all the available blending modes will expand for you to choose from. C is for changing opacity. It's not immediately obvious how to change opacity in Procreate, but it is easy once you know how. There are two ways to get there. The first is to open the Layers panel and tap on the Blending Mode indicator. Once you do that, a space will open up showing an opacity slider at the top. Alternatively, you can two-finger tap on the layer, and an opacity indicator will appear along the top of the canvas. Slide your finger to the left on the canvas to decrease opacity, and to the right to increase it. D is for drag and drop to fill. If you'd like to know how to fill in Procreate, it's super easy. All you have to do is drag your active colour from your palette and drop it into the area you want to fill. If there's a little jaggedness around the edges, hold for a moment before dropping the colour and drag to the left or right to control how the edge of the fill is placed. E is for erase and blend with matching brush. When you're painting with a textured brush, you don't want to ruin that texture by erasing with a regular round brush. Instead, erase with a matching brush by tapping the eraser icon twice to open its panel, then choosing the same brush you're painting with. Now when you erase, your textured style will remain consistent. And if you're wondering how to blend on Procreate, the process is the same, so you can blend with a matching brush as well. F is for fonts. Procreate makes font installation a simple matter of drag and drop. Download some fonts for Procreate, and for that purpose, you can choose from over 18,000 fonts available at Envato Elements. Any TTC, TTF, and OTF files are compatible. Then open up the Files app and Procreate side by side, and just drag and drop the fonts onto the canvas to have them automatically imported. Add text to your design by tapping the wrench icon, and under Add, choose Add Text. Select the text, then open the Edit Style panel by tapping either the font name or font weight. Here you can choose from among your Procreate fonts. You can set a weight, control sizing, spacing and opacity, and set alignment. G is for grouping layers. Layers in Procreate can be grouped by swiping right on each layer you want to add to a group, then tapping the Group button at the top right. Groups allow you to move and resize multiple layers at once, as well as to move multiple layers up and down in the layer stack at once. H is for harmonies. Selecting colours that harmonise is easy through the colour panel. Open the colour panel and switch to Harmony at the bottom. You'll see multiple reticles, the largest of which is your currently active colour. The other reticles are colours that harmonise with the active colour. Click a different reticle to set that colour as the active. You can switch between five different colour harmonies by clicking the current harmony name. Move the active reticle, and all the other reticles will move to maintain the selected colour harmony. I is for Instant Palette. You can instantly create a Procreate colour palette from any photograph. Open the colour panel and switch to Palettes at the bottom. Click the plus button at the top right and choose New from Photos. Select a photo and Procreate will automatically extract colours from it and add them to a palette. J is for Just Tap. All you need to do to undo changes in Procreate is tap anywhere on the canvas with two fingers. Conversely, you can redo steps by tapping with three fingers. And a four finger tap will hide the interface or show it again. K is for Photoshop Killer. Procreate can be purchased for an astoundingly low one-time flat US dollars $9.99. That's the price of a single month of Photoshop. This massive difference in price leaves a lot of people wondering about Procreate versus Photoshop. Could you use Procreate as a Photoshop replacement? 
It depends on what you use Photoshop for, but yes, in many cases, you could use Procreate as a replacement. If you are primarily a digital painter, you could most definitely switch to Procreate. Likewise, if you need software for frame-by-frame -frame animation, photo manipulation or photo bashing, hand lettering, or even pixel art, there's a very good chance that Procreate will be able to adequately replace Photoshop for you. L is for line art. If you are working with line art and you don't want to accidentally make changes to it while you're coloring, you can take advantage of the reference function. Tap the layer with line art on it and then activate the reference property. Now, if you drag and drop colors onto other layers, the fill will stay inside the line art as though everything was on a single layer. M is for masking and clipping. To create a mask for any layer, just tap the layer, then choose mask from the pop-up menu. A mask layer will then be added above, painting black on the mask to hide parts of the active layer, in white to show it, and in grey for transparency. To use a clipping mask, add a layer above the layer that you want to use for clipping. You can paint it before or after activating clipping. When you're ready, tap the layer you want to act as the clipping shape and choose clipping mask. Now anything you paint on the clipped layer will only show if it's within the bounds of the clipping shape. N is for no line wobble. To help with your appropriate drawing or line art, brushes have a line smoothing setting called Streamline. The more you increase the setting, the smoother your lines will be. Access the Streamline setting by selecting a brush from the paint menu, then tapping it a second time to open up its settings. The Streamline setting is located under the Stroke Path tab. O is for Open the Quick Menu. Procreate has a six item radial menu called the Quick Menu. To activate it, tap the wrench icon, go to Prefs and choose Gesture Controls. Go into the Quick Menu tab, then choose the gesture you want to use to open the Quick Menu. Once you open the Quick Menu, you can customise any of its items by long pressing on them, then choosing a different action. P is for Paint with Filters. Rather than filters being applied to whole layers, you also have the option to paint in the areas in which you'd like a filter to take effect. Tap the wand icon, choose an adjustment filter, then tap the pencil option. Start painting on a layer and the filter will affect only the areas you paint, with intensity determined by pen pressure. Q is for quick shapes. Procreate doesn't have dedicated shape drawing tools, but what it does have is quick shapes functionality. Draw out any shape as roughly as you like and hold the pencil in place at the end of the last line. The lines will automatically snap into perfect straight lines or curves if you drew an ellipse. And before you lift the pencil, if you place a finger onto the canvas as well, the proportions and angles of the shape will be adjusted and can form perfect squares and circles. R is for reference box. You can easily keep your reference images on hand while working by tapping the wrench icon, choosing canvas, then toggling on the reference option. A box will appear into which you can import any image. S is for snapping. When making transformations, activate snapping to get some very useful assistance for moving, scaling and rotating. Turn on snapping to snap to edges and center points of other layers and of the canvas as well as snapping for rotation increments. Turn on magnetics to activate blue guidelines that behave like railroad tracks, giving you some stickiness when you move along those lines and helping you with repositioning. T is for two brushes. You can mix any two brushes into a single dual brush. Select your first brush, then swipe right to select another brush from the same set. Tap the combine button at the top of the panel. You'll then be able to paint with both brushes at the same time. U is for unstacking and stacking. Stacks in Procreate are a way of organising your documents into categories within the gallery. To create a stack, long press a document to select it. Optionally, tap other documents to add them to your selection. Then drop the documents onto another document to create a stack. Tap the stack name if you'd like to rename it. To unstack documents, go into that stack, then long press a document to select it. Again, you can optionally tap other documents to select them too. Then drag the selection up to the top left and hold it over the stack name. After a moment, you'll be taken out of the stack and into the gallery where you can release the selection to drop the documents back into the top level. V is for video time-lapse. Procreate can capture a time-lapse video of your work with no noticeable impact on the performance of the software. To activate video recording, tap the wrench icon Go to Video and toggle Time Lapse Recording On. When you're done with your piece, go back to the same place in the menus and tap Time Lapse Replay to watch your time lapse video back. 
or tap export time-lapse video to generate a video file. W is for warp and distort. Procreate has powerful warping and distorting functionality that lets you remold the shape of any layer. To access both functions, tap on the arrow icon to open the transform toolbar. Distort is the third tab on the toolbar and is great for doing things like modifying the apparent perspective of a shape while maintaining the appearance of flatness. Warp is the fourth tab and is excellent for more detailed manipulation that changes the curvature of the shape. X is for XY axis drawing guide. Get your lines perfectly aligned in the X and Y axis by using the 2D grid drawing guide. Tap the wrench icon, go to Canvas, toggle on Drawing Guide, then tap Edit Drawing Guide. From here, under 2D Grid, set the grid size you want, activate Assisted Drawing, then tap Done. Now all the lines you draw will be locked into precise alignment. You can also use the same technique to assist you with drawing isometric lines, perspective lines, and in symmetry. Z is for Zoom and Rotate. You can zoom and rotate your entire image by tapping the wrench icon, going to the canvas section and choosing the crop and resize function. To zoom in on the image, drag the light gray handles of the canvas inward and drag it around to reposition it. And to rotate the image, tap settings, then in the drop down panel that appears, drag the rotation slider left or right. So that's the A to Z of Procreate. 26 of the coolest features, tips and tricks to help you take full advantage of the software. And to help you along with Procreate even more, get yourself stocked up with a great big stack of brushes, fonts and other assets to use with it over at Invato Elements. <laughs>